Psalm 26. Vindicate me, O Lord, for I have walked in my integrity, and I have trusted in the Lord without wavering. Prove me, O Lord, and try me. Test my heart and my mind, for your steadfast love is before my eyes, and I walk in your faithfulness. I do not sit with men of falsehood, nor do I consort with hypocrites. I hate the assembly of evildoers, and I will not sit with the wicked. I wash my hands in innocence, and go around your altar, O Lord, proclaiming thanksgiving aloud, and telling all your wondrous deeds. O Lord, I love the habitation of your house, and the place where your glory dwells. Do not sweep my soul away with sinners, nor my life with bloodthirsty men, in whose hands are evil devices, and whose right hands are full of bribes. But as for me, I shall walk in my integrity. Redeem me and be gracious to me. My foot stands on level ground. In the great assembly, I will bless the Lord. Psalm 27 The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the defense of my life. Whom shall I dread? When evildoers come upon me to devour my flesh, my adversaries and my enemies, they stumbled and fell. If an army encamps against me, my heart will not fear. If war rises against me, in spite of this, I am confident. One thing have I asked from the Lord that I shall seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to meditate in his temple. For on the day of trouble, he will conceal me in his tabernacle. He will hide me in the secret place of his tent. He will lift me up on a rock. And now my head will be lifted up above my enemies around me. And I will offer sacrifices in his tent with shouts of joy. I will sing, yes, I will sing praises to the Lord. Hear, Lord, when I cry with my voice, and be gracious to me and answer me. When you said, seek my face, my heart said to you, I shall seek your face, Lord. Do not hide your face from me. Do not turn your servant away in anger. You have been my help. Do not abandon me nor forsake me, God of my salvation. For my father and my mother have forsaken me, but the Lord will take me up. Teach me your way, Lord, and lead me on a level path because of my enemies. Do not turn me over to the desire of my enemies, for false witnesses have risen against me and the violent witness. I certainly believe that I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord. Be strong and let your heart take courage. Yes, wait for the Lord. Psalm 28 To you I will cry, O Lord my rock. Do not be silent to me, lest if you are silent to me, I become like those who go down to the pit. Hear the voice of my supplications when I cry to you, when I lift up my hands toward your holy sanctuary. Do not take me away with the wicked and with the workers of iniquity, who speak peace to their neighbors. But evil is in their hearts. Give them according to their deeds and according to the wickedness of their endeavors. Give them according to the work of their hands. Render to them what they deserve. Because they do not regard the works of the Lord, nor the operation of his hands, he shall destroy them and not build them up. Blessed be the Lord, because he has heard the voice of my supplications. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusted in him, and I am helped. Therefore my heart greatly rejoices, and with my song I will praise him. The Lord is their strength, and he is the saving refuge of his anointed. Save your people, and bless your inheritance. Shepherd them also, and bear them up forever. Psalm 29 Ascribe to the Lord, you heavenly beings. Ascribe to the Lord glory and strength. Ascribe to the Lord the glory due his name. Worship the Lord in the splendor of his holiness. The voice of the Lord is over the waters. The God of glory thunders. The Lord thunders over the mighty waters. The voice of the Lord is powerful. The voice of the Lord is majestic. The voice of the Lord breaks the cedars. The Lord breaks in pieces the cedars of Lebanon. He makes Lebanon leap like a calf. Syrian like a young wild ox. 
The voice of the Lord strikes with flashes of lightning. The voice of the Lord shakes the desert. The Lord shakes the desert of Kadesh. The voice of the Lord twists the oaks and strips the forests bare. And in his temple all cry, Glory! The Lord sits enthroned over the flood. The Lord is enthroned as king forever. The Lord gives strength to his people. The Lord blesses his people with peace. Psalm 30 I will exalt you, Lord, because you have lifted me up and have not allowed my enemies to triumph over me. Lord, my God, I cried to you for help, and you healed me. Lord, you brought me up from Sheol. You spared me from among those going down to the pit. Sing to Yahweh, you his faithful ones, and praise his holy name. For his anger lasts only a moment, but his favor a lifetime. Weeping may spend the night, but there is joy in the morning. When I was secure, I said, I will never be shaken. Lord, when you showed your favor, you made me stand like a strong mountain. When you hid your face, I was terrified. Lord, I called to you. I sought favor from my Lord. What gain is there in my death if I go down to the pit? Will the dust praise you? Will it proclaim your truth? Lord, listen and be gracious to me. Lord, be my helper. You turned my lament into dancing. You removed my sackcloth and clothed me with gladness so that I could sing to you and not be silent. Lord, my God, I will praise you forever. Psalm 31 In you, O Lord, I shelter. Let me never be shamed. In your bounty, O free me. Incline your ear to me. Quick, save me. Be my stronghold of rock, a fort house to rescue me. For you are my crag and my bastion, and for your name's sake guide me and lead me. Get me out of the net that they laid for me, for you are my stronghold. In your hand I command my spirit. You redeemed me, O Lord, God of truth. I hate those who look to vaporous lies. As for me, I trust in the Lord. Let me exalt and rejoice in your kindness that you saw my affliction, you knew the straits of my life. And you did not yield to me my enemy's hand. You set my feet in a wide open place. Grant me grace, Lord, for I am distressed. My eye is worn out in vexation, my throat and my belly. For my life is exhausted in sorrow, and my years in sighing. Through my crime my strength stumbles, and my limbs are worn out. For all my enemies I become a disgrace, just as much to my neighbors and fear to my friends. Those who see me outside draw back from me, forgotten from the heart like the dead. I become like a vessel lost. For I heard the slander of many, terror all round, when they conspired against me, when they plotted to take my life. As for me, I trust in you, O Lord. I say, you are my God. My times are in your hand. Oh, save me from the hand of my enemies, my pursuers. Shine your face on your servant. Rescue me in your kindness. Lord, let me not be shamed, for I call you. Let the wicked know shame and be stilled in Sheol. Let lying lips be silent that speak haughty against the just in arrogance and contempt. How great your goodness that you hide for those who fear you. You have wrought for those who sheltering you before the eyes of humankind. Conceal them in the hiding place of your presence from the crookedness of man. Hide them in your shelter from the quarrel of tongues. Blessed is the Lord, for he has done me wondrous kindness in a town under siege. And I have thought in my haste, I am banished from before your eyes. Yet you heard the sound of my pleading. When I cried out to you, love the Lord, all his faithful, steadfastness the Lord keeps and pays back in good measure the haughty and acts. Be strong and let your heart be firm, all who hope in the Lord. Psalm 32 Blessed is he whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. Blessed is a man unto whom the Lord imputeth not iniquity and in whose spirit there is no guile. When I kept silence, 
My bones whacked old through my roaring all the day long. For day and night thy hand was heavy upon me. My moisture is turned into the drought of summer. I acknowledge my sin unto thee, and mine iniquity have I not hid. I said, I will confess my transgressions unto the Lord, and thou forgavest the iniquity of my sin. For this shall every one that is godly pray unto thee in the time when thou mayest be found. Surely in the floods of great waters they shall not come nigh unto him. Thou art my hiding place. Thou shalt preserve me from trouble. Thou shalt compass me about with songs of deliverance. I will instruct and teach thee in the way which thou shalt go. I will guide thee with mine eye. Be ye not as the horse or as the mule, which have no understanding, whose mouth must be held in with bit and bridle, lest they come near unto thee. Many sorrows shall be to the wicked, but he that trusteth in the Lord, mercy shall compass him about. Be glad in the Lord and rejoice, ye righteous, and shout for joy, all ye that are upright in heart. Psalm 33 Shout for joy in the Lord, O you righteous. Praise befits the upright. Give thanks to the Lord with the lyre. Make melody to him with the harp of ten strings. Sing to him a new song. Play skillfully on the strings with loud shouts. For the word of the Lord is upright, and all his work is done in faithfulness. He loves the righteous in justice. The earth is full of the steadfast love of the Lord. By the word of the Lord the heavens were made, and by the breath of his mouth all their host. He gathers the waters of the sea as a heap. He puts the deeps in the storehouses. Let all the earth fear the Lord. Let all the inhabitants of the world stand in awe of him. For he spoke, and it came to be. He commanded, and it stood firm. The Lord brings the counsel of the nations to nothing. He frustrates the plans of the peoples. The counsel of the Lord stands forever. The plans of his heart to all generations. Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord. The people whom he has chosen as his heritage. The Lord looks down from heaven. He sees all the children of man. From where he sits enthroned, he looks out on all the inhabitants of the earth. He who fashions the hearts of them all and observes all their deeds. The king is not saved by his great army. A warrior is not delivered by his great strength. The war horse is a false hope for salvation and by its great might it cannot rescue. Behold, the eye of the Lord is on those who fear him, on those who hope in his steadfast love that he may deliver their soul from death and keep them alive in famine. Our soul waits for the Lord. He is our help and our shield. For our heart is glad in him because we trust in his holy name. Let your steadfast love, O Lord, be upon us, even as we hope in you. Psalm 34 I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul will make its boast in the Lord. The humble will hear it and rejoice. Exalt the Lord with me, and let's exalt his name together. I sought the Lord, and he answered me, and rescued me from all my fears. They looked to him and were radiant, and their faces will never be ashamed. This wretched man cried out, and the Lord heard him, and saved him out of all his troubles. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him. And rescues them. Taste and see that the Lord is good. How blessed is a man who takes refuge in him. Fear the Lord, you his saints. For to those who fear him, there is no lack of anything. The young lions do without and suffer hunger. But those who seek the Lord will not lack any good thing. Come, you children, listen to me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. Who is a person who desires life and loves length of days? that he may see good. Keep your tongue from evil and your lips from speaking deceit. Turn from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are toward the righteous and his ears are toward their cry for help. The face of the Lord is against evildoers to eliminate the memory of them from the earth. The righteous cry out and the Lord hears and rescues them from all their troubles. The Lord is near to the brokenhearted 
and saves those who are crushed in spirit. The afflictions of the righteous are many, but the Lord rescues him from them all. He protects all his bones, not one of them is broken. Evil will bring death to the wicked, and those who hate the righteous will suffer for their guilt. The Lord redeems the souls of his servants, and none of those who take refuge in him will suffer for their guilt. Psalm 35 Plead my cause, O Lord, with those who strive with me. Fight against those who fight against me. Take hold of shield and buckler and stand up for my help. Also draw out the spear and stop those who pursue me. Say to my soul, I am your salvation. Let those be put to shame and brought to dishonor who seek after my life. Let those be turned back and brought to confusion who plot my hurt. Let them be like chaff before the wind and let the angel of the Lord chase them. Let their way be dark and slippery and let the angel of the Lord pursue them. For without cause they have hidden their net for me in a pit, which they have dug without cause for my life. Let destruction come upon them unexpectedly and let his net that he has hidden catch himself. Into that very destruction let him fall. And my soul shall be joyful in the Lord. It shall rejoice in his salvation. All my bones shall say, Lord, who is like you? Delivering the poor from him who is too strong for him. Yes, the poor and the needy from him who plunders him. Fierce witnesses rise up. They ask me things that I do not know. They reward me evil for good to the sorrow of my soul. But as for me, when they were sick, my clothing was sackcloth. I humbled myself with fasting, and my prayer would return to my own heart. I paced about as though he were my friend or brother. I bowed down heavily as one who mourns for his mother. But in my adversity, they rejoiced and gathered together. Attackers gathered against me, and I did not know it. They tore at me and did not cease. With ungodly mockers at feasts, they gnashed at me with their teeth. How long would you look on? Rescue me from their destructions. My precious life from the lions. I will give you thanks in the great assembly. I will praise you among many peoples. Let them not rejoice over me who are wrongfully my enemies. Nor let them wink with the eye who hate me without a cause. They do not speak peace, but they devise deceitful matters against the quiet ones of the land. They also opened their mouth wide against me and said, Aha! Aha! Our eyes have seen it. This you have seen, O Lord, and do not keep silence. O Lord, do not be far from me. Sit yourself up and awaken to my vindication, to my cause, my God and my Lord. Vindicate me, O Lord, my God, according to your righteousness, and let them not rejoice over me. Let them not say in their hearts, Ah, so we would have it. Let them not say, We have swallowed him up. Let them be ashamed and brought to mutual confusion who rejoice at my hurt. Let them be clothed with shame and dishonor who exalt themselves against me. Let them shout for joy and be glad who favor my righteous cause. And let them say continually, let the world be magnified. Who has pleasure in the prosperity of his servant? Let the Lord be magnified. Who has pleasure in the prosperity of his servant? And my tongue shall speak of your righteousness and of your praise all the day. Psalm 36 I have a message from God in my heart concerning the sinfulness of the wicked. There is no fear of God before their eyes. In their own eyes they flatter themselves, too much to detect or hate their sin. The words of their mouths are wicked and deceitful. They fail to act wisely or do good. Even on their beds they plot evil. They commit themselves to a sinful course and do not reject what is wrong. Your love, Lord, reaches to the heavens, your faithfulness to the skies. Your righteousness is like the highest mountains, your justice like the great deep. You, Lord, preserve both people and animals. How priceless is your unfailing love, O God! People take refuge in the shadow of your wings. They feast on the abundance of your house. You give them drink from your river of delights. For with you is a fountain of life. In your light we see light. Continue your love to those who know you, your righteousness to the upright in heart. May the foot of the proud not come against me, nor the hand of the wicked drive me away. See how the evildoers lie fallen, thrown down, 
not able to rise. Psalm 37 Do not be agitated by evildoers. Do not envy those who do wrong. For they wither quickly like grass and wilt like tender green plants. Trust in the Lord and do what is good. Dwell in the land and live securely. Take delight in the Lord and he will give you your heart's desires. Commit your way to the Lord. Trust in him and he will act. Making your righteousness shine like the dawn, your justice like the noonday. Be silent before the Lord and wait expectantly for him. Do not be agitated by one who prospers in this way, by the man who carries out evil plans. Refrain from anger and give up your rage. Do not be agitated. It can only bring harm. For evildoers will be destroyed, but those who put their hope in the Lord will inherit the land. A little while and the wicked person will be no more. Though you look for him, he will not be there. But the humble will inherit the land and will enjoy abundant prosperity. The wicked person schemes against the righteous and gnashes his teeth at him. The Lord laughs at him because he sees that his day is coming. The wicked have drawn the sword and strung the bow to bring down the afflicted and needy and to slaughter those whose way is upright. Their swords will enter their own hearts and their bows will be broken. The little that the righteous man has is better than the abundance of many wicked people. For the arms of the wicked will be broken, but the Lord supports the righteous. The Lord watches over the blameless all their days, and their inheritance will last forever. They will not be disgraced in times of adversity. They will be satisfied in days of hunger. But the wicked will perish. The Lord's army, the Lord's enemies, like the glory of the pastures, will fade away. They will fade away like smoke. The wicked man borrows and does not repay, but the righteous one is gracious and giving. Those who are blessed by him will inherit the land, but those cursed by him will be destroyed. A man's steps are established by the Lord, and he takes pleasure in his way. Though he falls, he will not be overwhelmed, because the Lord holds his hand. I have been young, now I am old. Yet I have not seen the righteous abandoned, or his children begging bread. He is always generous, always lending, and his children are a blessing. Turn away from evil and do what is good, and dwell there forever. For the Lord loves justice and will not abandon his faithful ones. They are kept safe forever, but the children of the wicked will be destroyed. The righteous will inherit the land and dwell in it permanently. The mouth of the righteous utters wisdom. His tongue speaks what is just. The instruction of his God is in his heart. His steps do not falter. The wicked one lies in wait for the righteous and seeks to kill him. The Lord will not leave him in the power of the wicked one or allow him to be condemned when he is judged. Wait for the Lord and keep his way, and he will exalt you to inherit the land. You will watch when the wicked are destroyed. I have seen a wicked, violent man, well-rooted like a flourishing native tree. Then I passed by and noticed he was gone. I searched for him, but he could not be found. Watch the blameless and observe the upright, for the man of peace will have a future. But transgressors will all be eliminated. The future of the wicked will be destroyed. The salvation of the righteous is from the Lord, and their refuge in a time of distress. The Lord helps and delivers them. He will deliver them from the wicked, and will save them because they take refuge in him. Psalm 38 Lord, do not rebuke me in your fury, nor chastise me in your wrath. For your arrows have come down upon me, and upon me has come down your hand. There is no whole place in my flesh through your rage, no soundness in my limbs through my offense. For my crimes have welled over my head, like a heavy burden too heavy for me. My sores make a stench, have festered through my folly. I am twisted, I am all bent. All day long I go about gloomily. For my innards are filled with burning, and there is no whole place in my flesh. I grow numb and am utterly crushed. I roar from my heart's churning. I roar from my heart's churning. O oh, Master, before you in all my desire, and my sighs are not hidden from you. My heart spins around, my strength forsakes me, and the light of my eyes too is gone from me. My friends and my companions stand off from my plight and my kinsmen stand far away. They lay snares, who seek my life and want my harm. They speak lies, deceit utter all day long. 
But like the deaf I do not hear, and like the mute whose mouth will not open, and I become like a man who does not hear, and has no rebuke in his mouth. For in you, O Lord, I have hoped. You will answer, O Master, my God. For I thought, lest they rejoice over me, when my foot slips, vaunt over me. For I am ripe for stumbling, and my pain is before me always. For my crime I shall tell. I dread my offense. And my wanton enemies grow many. My unprovoked foes abound. And those who pay back good with evil thwart me for pursuing good. Do not forsake me, Lord. My God, do not stay far from me. Hasten to my help, O Master of my rescue. Psalm 39 I said, I will take heed to my ways, that I sin not with my tongue. I will keep my mouth with a bridle, while the wicked is before me. I was dumb with silence. I held my peace even from good, and my sorrow was stirred. My heart was hot within me, while I was musing the fire burned. Then spake I with my tongue, Lord, make me to know mine end, and the measure of my days, what it is, that I may know how frail I am. Behold, thou hast made my days as a hand breath, and mine age is as nothing before thee. Verily every man at his best state is altogether vanity. Surely every man walketh in a vain show. Surely they are disquieted in vain. He heapeth up riches, and knoweth not who shall gather them. And now, Lord, what wait I for? My hope is in thee. Deliver me from all my transgressions. Make me not the reproach of the foolish. I was dumb. I opened not my mouth, because thou didst it. Remove thy stroke away from me. I am consumed by the blow of thine hand. When thou with rebukes dost correct man for iniquity, thou makest his beauty to consume away like a moth. Surely every man is vanity. Hear my prayer, O Lord, and give ear unto my cry. Hold not thy peace at my tears, for I am a stranger with thee, and a sojourner, as all my fathers were. O spare me, that I may recover strength, before I go hence, and be no more. Psalm 40 I waited patiently for the Lord. He inclined to me and heard my cry. He drew me up from the pit of destruction, out of the miry bog, and set my feet upon a rock, making my steps secure. He put a new song in my mouth, a song of praise to our God. Many will see in fear and put their trust in the Lord. Blessed is the man who makes the Lord his trust, who does not turn to the proud, to those who go astray after a lie. You have multiplied, O Lord my God, your wondrous deeds and your thoughts toward us. None can compare with you. I will proclaim and tell of them, yet they are more than can be told. In sacrifice and offering you have not delighted, but you have given me an open ear. Burnt offering and sin offering you have not required. Then I said, Behold, I have come. In the scroll of the book it is written of me, I delight to do your will, O my God. Your law is within my heart. I have told the glad news of deliverance in the great congregation. Behold, I have not restrained my lips, as you know, O Lord. I have not hidden your deliverance within my heart. I have spoken of your faithfulness and your salvation. I have not concealed your steadfast love and your faithfulness from the great congregation. As for you, O Lord, you will not restrain your mercy from me. Your steadfast love and your faithfulness will ever preserve me. For evils have encompassed me beyond a number. My iniquities have overtaken me, and I cannot see. They are more than the hairs of my head. My heart fails me. Be pleased, O Lord, to deliver me. O Lord, make haste to help me. Let those be put to shame and disappointed altogether who seek to snatch away my life. Let those be turned back and brought to dishonor who delight in my hurt. Let those be appalled because of their shame who say to me, Aha! Aha! But may all who seek you rejoice and be glad in you. May those who love your salvation say continually, Great is the Lord. As for me, I am poor and needy, but the Lord takes thought for me. You are my help 
and my deliverer. Do not delay, O oh my God. Psalm 41 Blessed is he who considers the helpless. The Lord will save him on a day of trouble. The Lord will protect him and keep him alive. He will be called blessed upon the earth. And do not turn him over to the desires of his enemies. The Lord will sustain him upon his sickbed. In his illness, you restore him to health. As for me, I said, Lord, be gracious to me. Heal my soul, for I have sinned against you. My enemies speak evil against me. When will he die and his name perish? And when he comes to see me, he speaks empty words. His heart gathers wickedness to itself. When he goes outside, he tells it. All who hate me whisper together against me. They plot my harm against me, saying, A wicked thing is poured out upon him, so that when he lies down, he will not get up again. Even my close friend in whom I trusted, who ate my bread, has lifted up his heel against me. But you, Lord, be gracious to me and raise me up, that I may repay them. By this I know that you are pleased with me, because my enemy does not shout and triumph over me. As for me, you uphold me in my integrity. You place me in your presence forever. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, from everlasting to everlasting. Amen and amen. Psalm 42 As the deer pants for the water brooks, so pants my soul for you, O God. My soul thirsts for God, for the living God. When shall I come and appear before God? My tears have been my food day and night, while they continually say to me, Where is your God? When I remember these things, I pour out my soul within me. For I used to go with the multitude. I went with them to the house of God, with a voice of joy and praise, with a multitude that kept a pilgrim feast. Why are you cast down, O oh my soul? And why are you disquieted within me? Hope in God, for I shall yet praise him for the help of his countenance. O oh my God, my soul is cast down within me. Therefore I remember you from the land of the Jordan, and from the heights of Hermon, from the hill Mizar. Deep calls on to deep at the noise of your waterfalls. All your waves and billows have gone over me. The Lord will command his loving kindness in the daytime, and in the night his song shall be with me. A prayer to the God of my life. I will say to God, my rock, why have you forsaken me? Why do I go mourning because of the oppression of the enemy? As with the breaking of my bones, my enemies reproach me. While they say to me all day long, where is your God? Why are you cast down, O my soul? And why are you disquieted within me? Hope in God, for I shall yet praise him, the help of my countenance and my God. Psalm 43 Vindicate me, my God, and plead my cause against an unfaithful nation. Rescue me from those who are deceitful and wicked. You are God, my stronghold. Why have you rejected me? Why must I go about mourning, oppressed by the enemy? Send me your light and your faithful care. Let them lead me. Let them bring me to your holy mountain, to the place where you dwell. Then I will go to the altar of God, to God, my joy and my delight. I will praise you with the lyre, O God, my God. Why, my soul, are you downcast? Why so disturbed within me? Put your hope in God, for I will yet praise him, my Savior and my God. Psalm 44 God, we have heard with our ears. Our ancestors have told us the work you accomplished in their days, in days long ago. To plant them, you drove out the nations with your hand. To settle them, you crushed the peoples. For they did not take the land by their sword. Their arm did not bring them victory. But by your right hand, your arm, and the light of your face. For you were pleased with them. You are my king, my God, who ordains victories for Jacob. Through you we drive back our foes. Through your name we trample our enemies. For I do not trust in my bow, and my sword does not bring me victory. But you give us victory over our foes, and let those who hate us be disgraced. We boast in God all day long. We shall praise your name forever. But you have rejected and humiliated us. You do not march out with our armies. You make us retreat from the foe 
and those who hate us have taken plunder for themselves. You hand us over to be eaten like sheep and scatter us among the nations. You sell your people for nothing. You make no profit from selling them. You make us an object of reproach to our neighbors, a source of mockery and ridicule to those around us. You make us a joke among the nations, a laughing stock among the peoples. My disgrace is before me all day long, and shame has covered my face. Because of the voice of the scorner and reviler, because of the enemy and avenger, all this has happened to us, but we have not forgotten you or betrayed your covenant. Our hearts have not turned back. Our steps have not strayed from your path. But you have crushed us in a haunt of jackals and have covered us with deepest darkness. If we had forgotten the name of our God and spread out our hands to a foreign God, wouldn't God have found this out since he knows the secrets of the heart? Because of you, we are slain all day long. We are counted as sheep to be slaughtered. Wake up, Lord. Why are you sleeping? Get up. Don't reject us forever. Why do you hide yourself and forget our affliction and oppression? For we have sunk down to the dust. Our bodies cling to the ground. Rise up. Help us. Redeem us because of your faithful love. Psalm 45 My heart is astir with a goodly word. I speak what I've made to the king. My tongue is the pen of a rapid scribe. You are loveliest of the sons of man. Grace flows from your lips. Therefore has God blessed you forever. Gird your sword on your thigh, O warrior, your glory and your grandeur. And in your grandeur pass onward. Mount on the word of truth, humility and justice, and let your right hand shoot forth terrors. Your sharpened arrows, peoples fall beneath you into the heart of the king's enemies. Your throne, O God, is forevermore. A scepter of right, your kingship's scepter. You loved justice and hated evil. Therefore did God, your God, anoint you with oil of joy over your fellows. Myrrh and aloes and cassia, all your garments. From ivory palaces, lutes gladden you. Princesses are your cherished ones. The consort stands at your right in gold of Ophir. Listen, princess, and look, incline your ear. And forget your people and your father's house. And let your king yearn for your beauty. For he is your master. And bow down to him. Daughter of Tyre, with tribute, the people's wealthy will court your favor. All the princess's treasure is pearls. Filigree of gold her raiment. And embroidered stuff she is led to the king. Maidens entrain her companions. They are led in rejoicing and gladness. They enter the palace. Brought to you, king, and your father's steed your sons will be. You will set them as princes in all the land. Let them make your name heard in all generations. Therefore do peoples acclaim you forever. Psalm 46 God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore will not we fear, though the earth be removed and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea. Though the waters thereof roar and be troubled, though the mountains shake with the swelling thereof. There is a river, the streams whereof shall make glad the city of God, the holy place of the tabernacles of the Most High. God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. God shall help her, and that right early. The heathen raged, the kingdoms were moved. He uttered his voice, the earth melted. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Come, behold the works of the Lord, what desolations he hath made in the earth. He maketh wars to cease unto the end of the earth. He breaketh the bow, and cutteth the spear in sunder. He burneth the chariot in the fire. Be still, and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the heathen. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Psalm 47 Clap your hands, all peoples. Shout to God with loud songs of joy. For the Lord, the Most High, is to be feared, a great king over all the earth. He subdued peoples under us and nations under our feet. He chose our heritage for us, the pride of Jacob, whom he loves. 
God has gone up with a shout, the Lord with the sound of a trumpet. Sing praises to God. Sing praises. Sing praises to our God. Sing praises. For God is the king of all the earth. Sing praises with a psalm. God reigns over the nations. God sits on his holy throne. The princes of the peoples gather as the people of the God of Abraham. For the shields of the earth belong to God. He is highly exalted. Psalm 48 Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised in the city of our God, his holy mountain, beautiful in elevation. The joy of the whole earth is Mount Zion in the far north, the city of the great king. In its palaces, God has made himself known as a stronghold. For behold, the kings arrived. They passed by together. They saw it. Then they were amazed. They were terrified. They fled in a hurry. Panic seized them there. Anguish as that of a woman in childbirth. With the east wind, you smash the ships of Tarshish. Just as we have heard, so we have seen. In the city of the Lord of armies, in the city of our God, God will establish her forever. We have thought over your goodness, God, in the midst of your temple. As is your name, God, so is your praise to the ends of the earth. Your right hand is full of righteousness. Mount Zion shall be glad. The daughters of Judah shall rejoice because of your judgments. Walk around Zion and encircle her. Count her towers. Consider her ramparts. Go through her palaces so that you may tell of her to the next generation. For such is God, our God forever and ever. He will lead us until death. Psalm 49 Hear this, all peoples. Hearken all who dwell in the world. You human creatures, you sons of man, together the rich and the needy. My mouth speaks wisdom, my heart's utterance, understanding. I incline my ear to a saying, I take up with the lyre my theme. Why should I fear in evil days when crime comes round me at my heels? Who trust in their wealth and boast in their great riches? Yet they surely will redeem no man, will not give to God his ransom. To redeem their lives is too dear, and one comes to an end forever. Will he yet live forever? Will he not see the pit? For he sees the wise die. Both the fool and the stupid man perish, and they abandon to others their wealth. Their grave is their home forever, their dwelling for all generations, though their names have been called upon earth. And man will not rest in splendor. He is likened to beasts that are doomed. This way of theirs is their foolishness. And after, in words alone, they show favor. Like sheep to Sheol they head. Death shepherds them. And the upright holds sway over them in the morn. And they wear out their image in Sheol, a habitation for them. But God will ransom my life. From the grip of Sheol he will take me. Do not fear when a man grows rich, when he enlarges his house's glory. For in his death he will not take all. His glory won't go down behind him. For his own self he blesses when alive and acclaims you for giving him bounty. He will come to the state of his fathers. Forevermore he will not see the light. Man will not grasp things in splendor. He is likened to beasts that are doomed. Psalm 50 Yahweh, the God of gods, speaks. He summons the earth from east to west. From Zion, the perfection of beauty, God appears in radiance. Our God is coming. He will not be silent. Devouring fire precedes him, and a storm rages around him. On high, he summons heaven and earth in order to judge his people. Gather my faithful ones to me those who made a covenant with me by sacrifice. The heavens proclaim his righteousness, for God is the judge. Listen, my people, and I will speak. I will testify against you, Israel. I am God, your God. I do not rebuke you for your sacrifices or for your burnt offerings, which are continually before me. I will not accept a bull from your household or a male goats from your pens. 
for every animal of the forest is mine, the cattle on a thousand hills. I know every bird of the mountains, and the creatures of the field are mine. If I were hungry, I would not tell you, for the world and everything in it is mine. Do I eat the flesh of bulls or drink the blood of goats? Sacrifice a thank offering to God and pay your vows to the Most High. Call on me in the day of trouble. I will rescue you and you will honor me. But God says to the wicked, What right do you have to recite my statutes and to take my covenant on your lips? You hate instruction. You turn your back on my words. When you see a thief, you make friends with him and you associate with adulterers. You unleash your mouth for evil and harness your tongue for deceit. You sit maligning your brother, slandering your mother's son. You have done these things, and I kept silent. You thought I was just like you, but I will rebuke you and lay out the case before you. Understand this, you who forget God, or I will tear you apart, and there will be no one to rescue you. Whoever sacrifices a thank offering honors me, and whoever orders his conduct, I will show him the salvation of God.